Hey guys, I am back. And as you can see, I have returned to the village. And in the distance is the house that I was building. I did build it a little bit castle like. It's not the greatest castle in the world, I know. But I already warned you, I'm a little bit boring when it comes to my castle designs. I wanted it to be big, but not too big. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time over here in it, but I wanted something here just because I thought it would be nice. I repaired a lot of the road over here. You can see this was all divots and potholes and just open. This was one block lower, actually. And I filled in all the sand and the gravel. But as for the house, I added my stone staircase. I put in my windows. I tried to break it up a little bit. I didn't want to do the, just the same old square window design. So I went with a big one on the bottom so I could see out. I like lots of windows. And I broke it up up here. And I wanted a little staircase to follow the side of the wall here, and I wanted windows going up. So that's why that looks the way it does. I put iron doors on because I got tired of these guys running in and out of my house all the time. You can't exactly have a secure house if people are opening the door all the time. I went on a little glowstone excursion and picked up enough to fill up my house. Let's take a look inside. Oh, get in! I put pressure plates in so I don't have to hit buttons to get out. I brought two of my dogs over here from the cabin. And I filled my furnaces and I put in a workbench. I put this in for a little lighting. It looks a little awkward. I think I might wind up changing that. I put in glowstone in each corner, like I always do, because I like having lots and lots of light. And let's go upstairs. Here is my other dog, my glowstone, my little railing system. Put a bed up here, the glowstone. And you'll notice this little touch that I put in. I'm trying it on for size. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. We'll see. It was just dark, but I put glowstone under each block to light it up in the corner. Because I like this touch. I wanted to leave it. But I don't, I'm don't. i not sure about the glowstone. Maybe if you have an opinion, you can offer it. But I wanted it to kind of look like it was domed. Or maybe a vaulted style ceiling. And I think I kind of got that effect. It looks kind of nice, I think. I put a piece of glow in the middle because I needed one little patch of light over here. It's a little lopsided now. Maybe I'll get another piece and just put two in to make it even. But uh, here's my big trademark cross window that I put in. My view of the village. Oh, another idiot. They do that all the time. There's my jungle. And this is what I really like. The river. And it's to the river that I want to go and explore a little. Now, you can see two things that I said I was going to do, never did, finally did do. Made a compass, and I made a map. But we're not on the map right now because I started it at the jungle house. You can see the little lines there for where where the uh, patches of sand were. But it's okay. I'll just keep that on me for the moment. I went into the nether so I brought in my uh, potion of fire resistance. I actually finally used one. Came in handy too because I got shot a couple times by some ghasts. Let me go ahead and dump the extras. 
I'll go ahead and leave raw chicken here. Never know when you're gonna need some food. Oh, that's hanging on, barely. Oh, you can see that I wound up having to make some more supplies here. I ran, I'm starting to run out, I should say, of my diamond sword. So I enchanted a new pick and a new sword. I had a, a decent amount of XP, but instead I got Unbreaking 3, which is nice, but not what I wanted. And I got Knockback 1, which I haven't used yet, so I don't know how I'm going to like it. I'm not sure if I'll like that any better than Sharpness 2. Sharpness 2 helps me out a lot. But we'll see. I should probably sleep before I start wandering outside again. There we go. And I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can just barely see it. I put torches up there originally on each block. I left them there after even after I put the glow up there because I just thought it looked nice and no reason to bring it back down oh sorry a little yawny I took today off from work because I was tired And I got a cool game for my Xbox called Rocksmith. Now, I don't remember if I said anything about it on here, but I have a coworker who is an ex rocker. Well, I guess technically he's still a rocker, he just doesn't do that professionally anymore, or not for a living anymore. So, he is an amazing guitarist and he encouraged me to go ahead and get a guitar and not only that but he is teaching me and I figured I cannot pass up an opportunity like that somebody who has played with the amazing people that he's played with not to mention he's amazing himself I've heard him play and I've seen a couple of videos of his concerts. He he's really really good. I mean, between somebody like Eddie Van Halen and my friend Rick, I don't think I could pick a winner. To be honest. In fact, I would say Rick might even be better. It's just he's he decided to change careers and become a programmer in the 80s. Anyway, I'm rambling. So, what is Rocksmith? Well, everybody knows about Guitar Hero. And with Guitar Hero, you have a plastic guitar you plug into your Xbox. It takes the place of your controller. And you follow along the song with the colors. It's, I guess, the only way I can describe it is it's Dance Dance Revolution for your fingers. The color pops up and you have to hit it. Meanwhile, you're using your right hand and flipping a lever at the base of the guitar to mimic strum strumming a guitar. You're not going to learn how to play guitar with it, and frankly, I feel like an idiot when I have that thing in my hand because it's a little baby plastic guitar. But Rocksmith actually uses my real electric guitar. I plug in my actual guitar. And you see a representation of your fretboard on the, on the screen, and it color codes the strings. And you tune your guitar every time you start up, which is kind of cool, because if you're starting out, you're not always able to, to tune your guitar by ear. So that helps. This is kind of pretty here. And you can play you can play songs with it, sort of like Guitar Hero. Or you can play mini games. And the mini games are really good for me because I've got somebody teaching me. So I don't need to rely on the game so much to learn guitar with. 
Oh, a pig just fell. Can I swim up this? Oh, no, I can't. I thought maybe it was just going straight down. Oh, well. Ugh, sorry, I had to pause to cough. Didn't want to cough in your ear. Weird lighting glitch again. Okay, so, Rocksmith. So, it has mini-games in it, and the mini-games are good for me because I can build up my endurance. And I can build up my finger strength, and get my fingertips used to pressing the strings down. It's it's really good for that. And you get used to finding notes on the guitar, which it, it forces you to do. And that's something that you can... you can cheat yourself if you're just doing regular... you know, if you're just practicing the the chords and everything you can you can cheat and you'll never build up your endurance that way because you make it easy for yourself subconsciously but with this it forces you to use your muscles my shoulder was actually sore because I got lost in the game and I was playing around with it for two hours and by the time I was done my shoulder was sore and of course my fingers were pretty much toast but it was, it's really fun, and I'm glad I got it. It's only 69 bucks. It comes with the cable that you need. It plugs into USB on your Xbox, and then right into the analog output for your guitar. And if you have HDMI, there's going to be a little bit of a lag. But if you use the optical output, or if you use the old analog left and right audio, there won't be any lag. And it's it's pretty darn cool. You can also just use it as an amplifier if you want. So all in all, I really like it. And I do recommend the game to anybody. Anybody who likes music games, anybody who wants to learn guitar or wants to keep their their endurance and skills up, or anybody who just thinks it's fun to, to strum around it's very much worth it. If you have a guitar lying around, you might as well plug it in and play the game. You can get points, you can unlock new songs, and you can uh, get achievements. But for me, I like it because it forces me to build up my finger strength. And it forces you to do things correctly too, because if you strum the note wrong, it doesn't count and you miss you miss the point you have to press down right in the middle of the fret and you have to play it correctly and I like that too and I talked to, to Rick about it and he he really likes it he wants to check it out although I told him he's not allowed to play it under my username because he'll play it and then get all the points and then the difficulty will be set so high I'll never be able to play it myself so I'll get him a, a login for Xbox Live or something and let him log in and play on his own account. I think he'll like it too, just because it's, you know, a fun little challenge. Man, I sure got hungry there without realizing it. This is here. I'm taking it. So yeah, recommendation. Rocksmith. And I really think that you'll enjoy it. And if you're older and you have kids, or you've got a younger brother or sister, or if you have, you know, anybody, I guess it's good for adults too. Just anybody that is interested in music at all, it's worth it. And it's like Rick told me, once you start playing an instrument and you really get into it, you start looking at things differently and seeing the world a little differently. And I believe that. It sounds a little sappy to say, maybe a little cheesy, but you know what, I believe it. 
and I just look at the things that he's been able to do and the people he's met and the places he's gone and it's due f to no reason other than that he played guitar and that one thing opened up lots and lots of opportunities and acquaintances and I really I both you know I'm envious of course because it just sounds amazing but I admire it too and that gives me something to shoot for I don't think I'm ever gonna try to do it professionally I'm not gonna try to cut a record I don't think but I want to be good at it and I want I want to make friends and meet interesting people who also play and I just I think it'll be good for me and when I get older if I have children I could pass it down and I really would like to I'd like to have something like that to pass down to my kids this is a really cool cliff over here it's getting dark I've been wandering a little too much but the scenery is so nice I couldn't stop just really looks nice sun's going down over the mountain there it's getting a little dark to be out here though I want to go over this one last hill just to see what's there and then I'll start back I was kind of hoping on this excursion to find a mushroom. Well, I guess it would be a mushroom biome, but mushrooms are on it. Whoa! Gotta be careful. That one almost had my name on it. Running in the dark. I was running with the night Playing in the shadows Lionel Richie There's a dude who just doesn't do a whole lot these days But his music was everywhere in the 80s Although I saw the music video for his song Hello and that <laughs> it was it was almost kind of mean cuz he's singing to a blind girl and saying is it me you're looking for you know like our, hey I know you're blind but I'm so hot you must be looking for me just seems a little mean I don't know. Maybe I'm misinterpreting it. Or maybe I'm being in, up, intentionally obtuse. I don't know. A lot of hills here. Creeper. Okay. I think I've gone a little too far. I'm not lost, but this is going to take me a while to get back home. So I should just start now. All night long. Woohoo. Woo. Oops. Meant to hit the zombie and I hit a chicken instead. Woo. Okay, I'm going to lose my bearings if I keep going off on a tangent. Ugh. 
let me cut some of this wandering out because it's dark and you're probably not going to enjoy this. I just walked straight straight into a creeper. I can't believe I did that. There's where the other one exploded a while back. So I'm going back home in the right direction. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to cut because this is going to get dark and boring. And I will come back when we have reached the village again. Enderman! Whoa! Did I look at him accidentally? I guess so. What the heck? Oops. Sorry, sheep. Ah! Cannot believe he did that. Now I gotta go find my crap. Let's hurry. Sorry, crunching ice. Man, I had a lot of stuff, too. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Whoa. wonder how far away I died. Couldn't have been all that far away. Come on, get your crap. Is that a torch or lava? Whoa. That's interesting. I will have to explore that. Whoa, and that too. Crazy. How did I miss this the first time? Ugh. What's over here? I don't think I was near this when I died. I think I was a little farther back. I didn't see any torches around me when I died. So I must have been a little bit farther. I'd hate to lose my stuff. I didn't have anything that was entirely irreplaceable, although I did have two enchanted picks and two enchanted swords. Well, technically one, because one of the swords is already chewed up a little. But I still don't want to waste it. Where is my stuff? Just tap me on the shoulder if you see it. Whoa! Spidey! Run, run, run. I didn't even bring food with me. That was dumb. I just impulsively ran out the door to get my junk. Now, was it over here somewhere that I croaked? I think so. Is that my junk? Oh, that was a zombie. Oh! This is not good. Well, it's getting light out at least. But if I'm in the chunk my stuff was in, it's going to disappear if I don't find it. Darn my curiosity. This seems familiar. I want to think that I was somewhere near. Is that... Is that my crap over there? No, that's mushrooms. See, in the distance when you've lost your stuff, 
Everything looks like your stuff. These are just mushrooms. Alright. Whoa. That's kind of cool. Let me run this way a little bit. Oh, not good. Not good. What the heck was I doing? I am gonna die. I am gonna die. Why do I have to be so impulsive? Don't jump down here, please. <laughs> Rotten flesh didn't help. If I can find my stuff in time, I had food. Maybe over there? Did I die over here? No, nope, but I'll take this stuff. Man. Just when I thought I was doing good. Okay, there's a cave nearby. Thank you for telling me. Don't really care right now. Looking for my crap, thank you. Hello? Garbage? Where are you? been much farther away than this. And I'm... got one heart left. I'm starving. Much longer and my stuff would have disappeared. I should have paid attention to my surroundings better. Sheep everywhere. Can't run anymore because I'm too hungry. Okay, some more hills over here. Maybe I died in one of these hills. I know I was in the vicinity of a hill. So that narrows it down. Whoa, I don't remember lava. garbage over here. Not seeing it. Maybe it was up. Uh, let's see. Maybe it was up here somewhere. What the heck is going on in here? Little sheep hideout. Okay, this could be around where I died. It looks like it has the topography. But I'm not seeing floating junk. I'm probably just going to have to face it. My junk is gone. It's what I get. I know I'm going to die anyway. 
Whoa! Okay, yeah, there it goes. Oh well. So long, pile of junk. <sighs> all that work to get all that junk, and it's gone. Oh well. Say lovey. Looks like I might as well cut it here. Because I'm going to be stuck getting my stuff again. Starting from scratch. Collecting diamonds and armor. Oh well. That's part of the game. I want to punch him and run. But he'll kill me. Ha 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 Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Oh, he doesn't chase you, does he? Let's see if he remembers that I hit him. Do you remember what I did to you? Oh, crap, I just realized I had all my bow and arrows and stuff, too. Oh, well. Let's hit him again. Yeah, here we go suicide. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. I will try to get my junk again. And I will see you guys later.